Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale General Electric U23B locomotive from Atlas. My model is decorated and detailed for Western Pacific. The model appears to be a close match to prototype photos I found of the real WP2265 in the 1978 to 1982 era. Most WP U-boats did not last long after the UP merger circa 1983. Atlas offers this model in a DCC-ready version for $149.95 and a sound-equipped DCC version for $259.95. My model is the sound-equipped version. The paint on the model is thin and evenly applied. The markings are crisp and all of the small writing is legible with magnification. Though the orange lettering and stripes are opaque, there are some small voids in the orange along the panel seams. Most people probably won't find this objectionable, and with some weathering it should all but disappear. The configuration of doors and grills on the sides matches the photos I have of the real 2265, though in a photo from 1981, one of the battery box doors on the fireman's side is a different color, probably a replacement from a different engine. The EMD Blomberg trucks are correct for this engine and include brake lines. The four side windows on the cab are also correct, though by 1981 the outermost windows on 2265 appear to have been painted over. Photos of other WPU 23Bs from the mid-1970s show glass in the windows. No sunshades are provided, though they were present on the real engine. The cab has an interior with crew figures. The front of the model is also a close match for the real WPU 23Bs. The windshield wipers are oversized. I like that Atlas used wire grab irons on the top of the nose of this model, a big improvement from the plastic grabs in some of their previous GE offerings. A single LED lights up both the headlight and number boards. The class lights are not functional. It's neat how the drop steps can move up and down. The pilot has uncoupling levers and MU hoses. The uncoupling levers are an early style that match photos of some WPU 23Bs from the mid-1970s. By the 1980s, the real 2265 had more modern uncoupling levers. The model is equipped with plastic knuckle couplers. Both couplers are at the correct height according to the KD height gauge. Detail on the rear includes freestanding grab irons and also matches photos of the real 2265 very well. As in front, the number boards and headlight operate together. The roof is relatively plain, just like the real U23Bs. The five chime horn is correct for WP. The radiator grills are not photo etched and look a bit shallow compared to other modern HO models. On the underside, the model has air reservoirs with freestanding piping. All eight wheels pick up current and all four axles are powered. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The holes in the fuel tank can be filled with plugs supplied in the box. The holes are for mounting screws that secure the model to the box. The model weighs 14.6 ounces. I registered 2.4 ounces of drawbar pull on my force gauge. My engine is equipped with a Loke Sound DCC sound decoder. I'm running it on DCC. The engine has really good low speed control. The headlight is activated with F0 and is directional. I like the fact that Atlas uses LEDs for lighting, but these look a bit too yellow to my eye. I don't usually say too much about packaging, but I'm really not crazy about boxes with screw mounts. They do a good job keeping the model secure, but are a bit of a pain to deal with. Overall, Atlas has done a really good job with this engine. It's accurate enough to satisfy most modelers, runs well, sounds great, and is a good puller. At this price level, I'd like to see the model have some sunshades and better windshield wipers, though I'm glad that Atlas left off the chunky plastic sunshades that they've used on some other models in the past. I'd also like to see photo etched radiator grills like Atlas uses on some of its other GE models. I'm going to take a spike for all of those things combined. My final verdict is 9 out of 10 spikes.